Welcome everybody to my new tutorial. This is brand new to version 2.46 and what we're going to do here is we're going to go over basically how to add hair to your mesh and apply soft bodies to it and get to watch this stuff real time. I'm going to try to do this in less than 10 minutes so I may go over a couple things kind of quick. I hope that everyone has taken a little um, taking the time to look at some of my other tutorials because they'll help you to get to at least this point. What I have here is basically just a head mesh that I made real quickly. I can make this available to whoever needs it if they want to play with this but you can just use anything sphere. Just make sure that it's kind of um, egg shaped so that you can actually see something move. Poke some hot holes in it for eyes. It doesn't have to be a good mesh. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to real quickly just go into my view properties and shut off my grid so I don't have to look at that and move this out of my way for a minute okay let's go right on to jumping into our particle system what we're going to do is we're going to turn the particles on and jump over here and turn on a new one let's name this hair okay and we'll actually make it hair we have this nice option here that uh, the guys over at the blender development team made for us. It's really cool. We're going to turn our amount down to about, let's say 200. Right around 200, doesn't matter. Close enough. Segments of 5. Um, this is about when the hair actually is a particle and it comes off of our mesh, it will be broken into 5 sections. I can show you that when we get moving. Um, next thing we want to do is set some of this normal. We want to actually grow the hair if I go into my particle system, you can actually watch this happen. Um, it'll happen all over the whole head because we haven't set where we want hair to grow. But that's okay. We'll just click these out, make it a little bit long. We can always adjust these later. Let's make some randomness happen to the hair. That's all I'm doing is clicking on these. We'll click random and, e and even so that it's kind of messy. You can see I've got some hair all over. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just jump right over here into weight paint. And what this is going to do is it's going to assign where we want hair to go. If we look at this view properties panel, which you can bring up by hitting the N key on your keyboard, um, we'll be able to go. Oh, that's not. I'm sorry. That's my view panel. Hit the N key on your keyboard, and this is my weight paint. This will allow me to have this floating palette wherever I need it to be. What we're going to do here is we're actually going to weight paint um, and make sure that our X mirror is on. Looking at this from the side view, I'll then paint this. And I'm just giving it some weight so that it knows, Blender knows where I want hair to be. You know, what vertices I want it to come out of. What I did was I just basically I just made a vertex group. This is the same, similar to how you would do it to weight paint on a bone or anything like that. The weight painting all works the same. You've got your weight, your opacity, size of your brush, things like that. So basically that's all we've done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our particle system, tell Blender that we want to use our vertex group, which we is, is defaulted to group. And now our hair only comes out of the faces that we've got weight painted. And that helps us to control where hair comes from what vertices it uses. Now what we're going to do is looking at this from the side view I can come in here and I can say I want to go to my particle system and actually edit this particles and here's where you see the segments each hair is broken into five sections which is awesome because now I can control it better and in, the, in this particle editing properties panel I can comb my hair, I can change the length, I can add hair smooth it, puff it, put weight, cut it. I can also show the children. I can set my deflector on. It's all really good stuff. You want to play with all these settings to see what's going on before what we're going to do right now and the time constraint that I have. All I'm going to do is show you how to comb the hair. We're going to crank this up so my size is bigger. We're just going to push the hair down. Look at it from the side. We're going to comb the hair down just to get it down flat on the head. Now remember you can puff it and play around with all these other settings and 
they're cool and all, but they have nothing to do with what I'm showing you right now. Now let's go right in and turn our children on. Tell particles. Now I can. Now what's happening is for each strand that I made, there'll be roughly 10 showing, but I'll render 100. I want to turn on my emitter so that this guy will actually render when I actually render this and I can tell it to be color and I can pick which material if I had a material set up I could just pick it and have that be the one that actually is assigned to the hair which is and play with these roughs these are the way you're gonna set your you know how coarse the hair is and, and how what shape it takes see it gets a little messy there very coolness okay we're five minutes into it we've got our hair done let's do a split on this window I'm going to show you something else that's really cool. Go up to our timeline, and under playback, hit continue physics. What this is going to do is allow us to actually see what happens to our hair in real time. Let's minimize this window because I won't need that right now. And let's jump out to soft bodies. Now here's the thing with soft bodies, for the hair anyway. When we click soft bodies, make sure that you have hair selected or you're going to apply soft bodies to your mesh. And then your face will get all droopy and bouncy. You don't want that. So let's hit soft bodies. The next thing is speed. If I don't turn my speed up, what happens is the hair is going to bounce and bounce and bounce. Speed means it's going to just drop right down real quick and get to where I want it to get real fast. So here it is right now. If I hit Alt A, nothing should play because I haven't I haven't assigned any keyframes to this yet. So that's the next step. Now this is a pretty advanced tutorial. I wouldn't expect anybody to jump into this right away because there is some things that you should know. What we're going to do though is we're just going to jump over to our object mode real quick. We're going to insert a keyframe and we're going to rotate this head. Insert. We're going to move forward in time. Sorry move forward in time to about say 30 frames then we'll rotate the head and hit I insert advance again look at this thing from the side view and rotate the head again do another insert you can move the head any way you want and this is not a real the, the right way to animate this but I just wanted to show you how the physics and the hair work so I have to get the head to move a little bit so let's move again give some time let's rotate the head and let's do an insert basically I'm just moving the head around let's rotate the head back up and hit another I key we're just inserting some random um, keyframes here okay so let's take a look and see what we ended up with all I'm going to do here now is because I set playback to show my physics, when I hit the Alt A key, let's go back to frame one and let's hit Alt A. There's our hair bouncing around a little too much, but here you can see that because I set the speed the hair has stopped bouncing you can see that the hair dangles gravity affects it everything is working well you can then bake this animate this and he's ready to go I will allow this to play through one more time for you you see it bounce around in the beginning but then see how it straightens itself out Let's go back to our soft bodies real quickly and crank up our speed even more. Now let's see what happens when we hit all day. The hair drops, it's in its position, it's moving, it's not sinking through. You could add more hair. Let's change our perspective just a bit. Let's look at them from this view. There it is moving. You can see that the hair does dangle correctly it moves nicely you'll have to set some tweaks up you'll also probably want to get yourself a nice texture on the hair to make it look like real hair hey it was fun happy blending